Thank you so much for coming. It's wonderful to see all of your faces. Um, thank you for coming to our lavender ceremony. This is my partner, Nikki. They're here to observe. <laughs> Hi. Um, so our first event is going to be a little bit of a background from Cherie. Uh, then we're going to do a little bit of commentary from our community. Uh, if anyone wants to give some celebratory words for our graduates. Um, and then there's a reading of names of our graduates. Uh, and then there's a performance by me. And then we'll wrap up. Uh, so Cherie, take it away. Um, I just have a couple of short um, remarks, just a little bit about the history of Lavender graduation and um, sort of why, why we're here today. Um, so welcome everyone to the second annual Lavender Ceremony at Columbia College Chicago. Um, though we're celebrating a little bit differently this year, our SDI team is so excited to be with you. Um, and to recognize you for your accomplishments. Um, I wanna begin just by acknowledging the incredible difficulty of the situation that we're currently in, um, and the fact that many of our most vulnerable communities, um, folks of color, the LGBTQ community, undocumented folks, incarcerated folks, among many others, um, have been and continue to be disproportionately impacted by this pandemic and our nation's um, unforgivably callous um, response to it. We know that our communities are vibrant and resilient and that the collective activist and survival strategies we've long cultivated will see us through. Um, but I also want to acknowledge that for many of us, um, the road to another day is, can be treacherous and really tiring. So I hope that wherever you find yourself at this moment, that our time together this evening can be a place of respite, of solace, of joy, of visibility, and of love. So Lavender Graduation, or Lavender Ceremony in our case, is an annual ceremony conducted on numerous college campuses to honor LGBTQA students and to acknowledge their achievements and contributions to their community. The first Lavender Graduation Ceremony, um, which was created by Dr. Ronnie Sandlow, took place at the University of Michigan in 1995 with three graduates. The color lavender, um, in case folks don't know, the color of the cords that you received or will be receiving, um, is a combination of the pink triangle that gay men were forced to wear in concentration camps and the black triangle designated lesbians as political prisoners in Nazi Germany. During the LGBTQA civil rights movement, um, these symbols were of hatred were taken and combined and reclaimed to make symbols and a color of pride and community. By 2001, there were over 45 lavender graduation ceremonies at colleges and universities across the country. Today, that number is in the hundreds and Columbia was finally added to that list of participating colleges last year, thanks to the efforts of our very own Matthew Rilly, who took it upon themselves to begin this tradition at Columbia. Um, I would note without any official support or having that as part of their role, just something that they decided to do for this community. Personally, it's an honor to be here with you all today. Um, as a person who gave voice to their queerness a little bit later in life, I am in awe of the LGBT, LGBTQA community that we have at Columbia. Um, when I was thinking of what to say, I kept thinking about um, this quote from Angela Davis, where she said, you have to act as if it were possible to radically transform the world and you have to do it all the time. And I feel like at Columbia, from our students, particularly our LGBTQA students, that is sort of the way that I've seen you approach the world. A willingness to demand accountability, um, a quickness with the critique, <laughs> but a generosity with praise, and a relentless spirit of creativity and transformation and I think most importantly, a deep, deep capacity of love. Each of you has made Columbia better, even if um, you've done it while she's been kicking and screaming. Um, you've made it better and have made our community more just and more inclusive for all of the students that will follow you. I am in awe of what you have accomplished and I'm excited to see what you do next. 
Lastly, I just want to give a quick thank you to Mikey, Zola, and Matthew for all of the hard work that you've done to make this event possible. When our original plans for Lavender Ceremony were dashed, you all made sure um, that we could still proceed, which, which was definitely not easy. You didn't have to, but you did, and I can't thank you enough. So finally, congratulations to all of our graduates. You've made it, you're here. I know that graduation looks a little bit differently than we all had hoped that it would, um, but I'm so excited to share this time with you and I hope that, um, I hope that you enjoy this time in your life regardless of everything else that's happening around. It's a huge, huge accomplishment and you deserve to be recognized for it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, at this time, if anyone has anything they would like to say to um, a graduate, to one of their peers, um, now would be a great time. Um, if you could, just type, um, I'd like to speak in the um, chat box so I can click um, and spotlight you and unmute. Um, I would selfishly like to start by sending just my gratitude to one of our um, graduates, Joyce. Um, I've worked at this college for almost three years now, and I have known Joyce um, since the very start of it. And since that very start, Joyce has been one of our students and graduates to many, many people turn to, whether they be their peers, whether they be faculty or staff, they've turned to Joyce for um, compassion, support, and just all over activism. Um, I think Columbia is going to look very differently without you there, but will also look very, Columbia has changed because of the work that you, that you have done. Um, I feel very lucky to have worked with you, but my gratitude is, is extremely high. Um, I think a lot of us come into this work from a very personal place and knowing that your willingness to invest in the way, the way that you have um, has been so strong. My gratitude is wonderfully, wonderfully high. <laughs> so Joyce, I'm very proud of you and congratulations on graduating. I love that there's so many Joyce stand groups. <laughs> what we're going to do right now is I'm going to read the names of the graduates um, who are here, some of them who are here and some of them who are not, but I am thrilled to be able to re read these names and recognize that the work that it took to graduate is a lot. And for queer folks to be here um, takes an extra layer of work. Our graduates this year, Zola, she's graduating with a degree in vocal performance and playwriting. Scar, they are, they are having a degree in American Sign um, language. Allie, she is also graduating with a degree in American Sign Language. Isabel, she graduated actually a couple months ago with her degree in TV executive producing and entrepreneurship. Joyce, they are graduating with a degree in creative writing and fiction. Sarah, she is graduating with a degree in cinema, art, and science. Kai, she is graduating with a major in musical theater and a minor in writing for performance. Gabby, she is graduating with a degree in cinematic arts. And Zane, she is graduating with a degree in cinematography. Congratulations, everybody. Wonderful. So at this time to celebrate, we're gonna have a performance from our very own Mikey. So this is a song called The Lost Boy by someone named Greg Holden. Unfortunately, I did not write this one. All right. Left my home, still as a child, alone. 
to thousand sorry maps to wait for my father to gather up his tools. He said, my boy, you've got to run. Don't wait for me. Don't wait for mom. We'll come get you when it's safe for us to move. So I waited many years, held back the pain behind my tears for my father to come find me like he said. In the time I didn't know just how hard the wind could blow, but I made brothers of a different kind instead. Time I was alone, didn't know. In the time I didn't know just how hard the wind could go towards disaster, the things that I would see. I never found my father. Even what I know in my lifetime I would be a hero to the masses, to those born without chances. There's a freedom that everyone deserves. I know there's greed and there's corruption. I've seen death and mass destruction, but I'm telling you. I hope that I am heard. I will not be commanded. I will not be controlled. And I will not let my future go on without the help of my soul. I will not be commanded. I will not be controlled. And I will not let my future go on without the help of my soul. Thank you. And uh, Maddie or Cherie, did you have any closing remarks? Um, I would just like to say again, congratulations to all our graduates. Um, just a, a special shout out to all the folks that have come through SDI, um, Zola, Isabel, and Joyce. Um, you're just amazing. and you cannot be replaced. And I just, I thank you so much for making SDI the space that it is. Um, and I've really seen that the past couple of weeks that even though we're not in the physical space, all the work that you all have done and everything that you've given to that space, it's, it's more than just those walls um, and has an impact so much more beyond that. Um, and I'm just so grateful to know you and very, very proud of each of you. Congratulations. And I'm gonna cry now, so I'm gonna stop. So thank you all so much for coming. Uh, it's been an honor to honor you. Um, and I wish you so much luck in all of your endeavors in the future. Uh, it's been great having you. Congrats, everybody. Congratulations. Enjoy your night. Um, enjoy summer and we're sending you the absolute best.